Okay, so in this video, we are going to be talking about how to format date values. Currently, in our column headings, we have January, February, March. And as of right now, these are text values. To change these text values to date values, we need to insert a date in a date format so Excel knows that we are trying to have a date value instead of a text value. So we're going to click in cell B3 in the January column and type 1 slash 1 slash 20. You might have noticed that this cell went from left align to right align. So when we just had January in there, it was left. And when we put the date value in there, it goes back to right. That is because Excel treats date values as a number. Now that we've got a date value in the cell, we need to apply a little bit of formatting to make it look a little bit cleaner. So what we need to do is make sure to have the cell selected, go to the Home tab, up to the Numbers group, and click this drop down. This is where you apply value formatting. So as of right now, even though we have a date value in there, if we choose number, the date value number is 43831. Like I said before, Excel treats date values as numbers. But since we're dealing with dates, we have a short date, long date. That's not what we're really looking for. We're looking for that three letter month and then maybe a dash and the year. So if we go to more number formats down below and we click date in the category group. Now over here to the right underneath type, these are all the predefined date formats that Excel gives us. And if we select one of these up here in our sample box, it will show what our value in the cell would look like. And right now we are trying to find that three letter month dash and the year. So we got to find one that looks very similar to that, uh, which is this March dash 12th one right here. If we click it, we can tell in our sample that it's January dash 20. Now that could be January 20th or January of 2020. So if you want to change this to a four figure year, all we have to do is go down to the custom format. So up here in type, this is the format that is currently in place. But we can kind of use this to our advantage to see what it's doing and then customize it to our liking. Right now we see the three M's, which is the month, MMM-YY, which is the year. So we can kind of go off this and change it to how we want it, which is going to be MMM-YYYY. And you can tell in our sample box, it is January dash 2020. And we can go ahead and click OK. And now you can see that in our cell, we have the correct format that we want. Now we can go through that whole process and do that for each column heading, but that might take a little bit of time. So I'm going to show you a little Excel shortcut here. You want to click in the cell that has the formatting, and you want to drag your cursor to the bottom right corner of the cell until your cursor turns into a little thin black cross instead of a big thick white cross. And what you want to do is click and drag over the column headings. And as you can tell in that little white box that pops up underneath it is showing what the value will look like. So if I extend it all the way to March and let go, now all of our column headings have the correct format. What we just use is called the fill handle. Now the fill handle is great for copying formatting, copying cells, and picking up patterns, which is what Excel just did. It realized that we started with a January, a date value, and extended it across to the next month, February, and then March. For example, if I put just a one in this cell real quick, and I click it and use the fill handle, it's just gonna put one, 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 and so on, because it's not picking up any patterns. But if I delete those and type in one, two, and three, and select those cells. Now if I use the fill handle and drag it down, Excel is picking up that there is a pattern. So it's picking up like, oh, I want to go one, two, three, four, five, six in order. So just keep that in mind. And we will use the fill handle a lot more later in the course. I just wanted to show you this quick tip because it could potentially save you a lot of time. I'm going to go ahead and delete these cells. Now that we got the dates formatted correctly, I think this is a good stopping point for this video. And we've put a good amount of work into this workbook. So if you haven't saved your workbook yet, I strongly suggest you do that. Remember, it's just File, Save As, since we're saving it for the first time. 
Make sure you give your workbook a name. I'm going to call it monthly expenses and I'm saving it to my desktop and click save. Sorry, I already had one, but I'm going to go ahead and replace it. Click OK and we're done.